I'm a long way in today. Mm. And he's engaged elsewhere on professional work. True, my lord, that's this chairman, that's why I mentioned the team I came with. Okay. For the position of my lord chairman, the members, it is the general prime minister. Indeed, my Lord Chairman, all of the members, the case is coming for me. Uh, my Lord Chairman, all of the members, Father uh, Shagurani Sentamu was arrived before this court on the 16th. Of August 2018, and the case was adjourned to the start, which is today, for mentioning. Two charges, two counts of unlawful possession of firearm, and one count of unlawful possession of ammunition. Uh, investigations reveal that uh, there is a nexus between the charges against Honorable Shagurani and Honorable Pasiano Wadri and 31 others who are answering charges of treason in the civil courts. And my Lord Chairman and other members, those charges of prison are more serious than the charges which Honorable Chagorani is answering before this court. And our understanding is that the two cases originate from the same set of facts, and it would amount to double jeopardy. Uh, if Honorable St. Amisha Granit is tried in the two separate courts over the same cases that originate from the same facts. Uh, my Lord Chairman and other party members, uh, we have instructions that the proceedings before this court under Regulation 65 of the Uganda People's Defense Forces Rules of Procedure be terminated and the prison person he had a problem before us. I see. It is actually with relief that we have received the news of the withdrawal of these charges here, which in the first place should not have been placed. We have consistently objected. This man of prosecution. So we definitely do not object to the withdrawal and termination. It is their prerogative to abuse their process. What we object to, however, is that this general court martial be used as a forum for arresting a civilian. The moment charges are withdrawn against a person, he becomes free. The court is not an instrument of arresting for the police. The gentleman seated before you was arrested by the army, beaten badly, had his rights violated. Now, 
The prosecution is using this forum to sanitize that operation and ask you, hand over to police. Supposing the police have no charges against him. There is no record here to indicate that John Rebo Chagulani is a wanted man by the police, unless there is some information to which we are not privy. My prayer, therefore, is to have the Honorable Chagulani be declared a free man and we take him for medication. The Honorable Chagulani is a member of parliament representing Chadondo East constituents. He is not a fugitive. He has a fixed place of abode that is known to the police and to the women. He has been in detention since the, the 15th day of this month. He needs urgent medical care. If the police are interested, there is a procedure for arresting members of parliament. I pray, Mr. Chairman and honorable members, that you do not accept the temptation of being used to settle political scores. What my colleague, uh, Major Rafa Magezi, has said, is only a political statement that he be surrendered to the police to face treason. You have no record of any treason charges against anybody in this court. He's only importing extraneous matters. The only way you can save the Constitution is to let this man free. Thank you. I strongly object, Mr. Chairman. That is evidence from the bar. Hold on, hold on, because let him finish, then you come in. So we will have a prayer that the proceedings in this court be terminated and honor of the government. My point of objection, Mr. Chairman, is that lawyers, at least who have gone through training, are not allowed to submit evidence from the bar. There is no record from what he was telling this general court marshal that there are any joint operations between the UPDF and the police because they are assigned to do different roles under the constitution. So whatever he's been stating should be expanded for your record. It's evidence from the law, and that's my objection. Mr. Chair, if I may start the submission, there are no objections to the charges. What we do strongly object to is the attempt by the prosecution to use the court as an arresting court to hand honorable charges to the police. It's not a transfer of charges. It is not a transfer of charges, it's a withdrawal. Mm -hmm. What we're inviting you, Mr. Chairman, to do and the members of the panel is to reject that because <coughs> first there's no evidence before you that there are any charges, no charge sheets has been tendered in court, at least not that we know of. The Honorable has been in their possession since they were arrested, violently, assaulted. If they had charges, they would have charged them. So, Mr. Chairman, our objection is to the court to reject them. This court becoming an arresting court, this court becoming a court of transfer of charges. You are just repeating what you say. Is there nothing, was, anything different from, from that? This court adjourns for 10 minutes. Um, next stretch outside. We shall call you in. You sit. Honorable sit.